Greetings, greetings to you. Greetings, Gavala. Sorry, I've just watched Gavin and Stacey, so I have constant Gavin and Stacey quotes running through my head. Welcome to this vlog. This is going to be a few days of my life, starting on a Sunday, featuring lots of baking, M&S visits, the lot. Let's get started. Grab yourself a little sweet treat and a cup of tea if you want. Today, the plan is for this morning is to go to M&S and to go and send back my Dun Elm parcels, which I'm gonna pack now. I'm not gonna lie, I was just gonna get the girls these bags and I was gonna try and find a boyish bag, but honestly, I went to town one day and I could not for the life of me find either a Christmas or a more of a boy colored bag. But I thought, you know what? I'm sure he's not gonna mind. And I feel like in this day and age, people don't think like that anymore. For the boy who loves football, we've got a pack of football socks, a little football game. We've got one football, a football pump, otherwise you won't be able to blow it up. Another football, a blue football this time. That's number one. For the girl who loves baking, we've got a cupcake tin. Some cookie cutters, an icing piping bag, a little spatula. These are fondant cutters, some cupcake cases. These, they're only small. It's 200 chocolate recipes and 200 delicious desserts. For the girl who likes arts and crafts, a water colouring book. So you fill up the pen with water and then it colours it in, I guess. How cool is that? 12 posters to colour in, a pack of colouring pens. Oh, I love these. They're like rainbow scratch notebooks. And don't worry, it's a bit of wood that you scratch it with. It's not sharp. This is a big sheet that you roll out and you can either colour it in or paint it. A little dog that you can paint. Oh my God, this is what they are. These are colour pens. When you go to colour with them, they come out as patterns instead. I've wondered why I got two sets of pens. And there we have it. I'm going to get probably like a pack of sweets for each one as well, because they do feel like they're not as full. Before I go, I went to B&M yesterday and I've got to show you the cutest little Christmas mugs. Honestly, so cute, £3.50. Christmas tree and a gingerbread man. I feel like the gingerbread man is gonna be either chai lattes, Horlicks, which I tried for the first time yesterday, or a coffee. And the Christmas tree is purely for hot chocolates. So one more thing, speaking of hot chocolates, look at this advent calendar. It's a hot chocolate advent calendar. It's from Cocoa and you get like hot chocolate sticks and hot chocolate bombs. I'm very excited for that. As well as that, over there, I've got m &S's advent calendar. You can probably tell I'm feeling a little bit Christmassy. And by a little bit, I mean pretty darn Christmassy. I'd quite like to put the Christmas tree up, but it's not my house, so that's not my decision. That'll be when I've got my own place. The Christmas tree will be going up in November. That was easy. You literally do just drop them in the store, hand them to the lady behind the till. We've got some baking in store today. I've actually already made granola squares for my dad, but I'm gonna do some replicating some of M&S's bakes. Very excited. Chaos. Honestly, I am I'm so grateful to be self-employed because it means I can come to supermarkets during work hours. <laughs> it's you honestly would have thought it was Christmas Eve, how busy it is in, in MS in particular. MS is blowing up. I feel like the love that people have for MS, they do not have for Waitrose. And I do agree, like Waitrose, they don't have that special touch. M&S has like a special touch. I did pick up a few bits, I won't lie, but there was no way that I was gonna film in there because it was literal chaos. You should have seen the bakery. The bakery was swarmed. Those chocolate chunk shortbreads that I'm looking for, that I'm trying to recreate, were literally not to be seen. I think I'm gonna come here tomorrow morning, Monday morning, come on. Who's buying chocolate chip shortbreads on a Monday, you know? They are a Sunday delicacy. I'm gonna buy them on a Monday. Anyway, I picked up some of these because I'm going to, if I hadn't mentioned already, which I literally did like 20 seconds ago, I'm going to recreate the chocolate chunk shortbreads from M&S. I've not tried them yet. I, that's why I, I need to I need to try them. I need to know. But I just bought these because, well, I felt otherwise it would be a waste coming here for literally no reason. And I got some mini ones as well. And I've, oh my God, I really just wanted to browse all the Christmas stuff because they've got all their Christmas stuff out now, but I'm gonna browse tomorrow. I got these. I saw a TikTok online that said they are heavenly. And I'm not gonna lie, five pound, five pound, that's expensive. They look heavenly. Hazelnut cream 
ingots. I have literally no idea what an ingot is. Luxuriously creamy, melt in the mouth pieces of white chocolate and smooth ground hazelnuts. Apparently they taste like the Kinder spread. Look how luxurious. This is what M&S does right. They go the extra mile. I feel like Waitrose is just a posh supermarket full of posh people. <laughs> Whereas M&S, everyone's an M&S. It's just people go to M&S to treat themselves. I go to Waitrose because that's the only shop near Elliot. Anyway, this cost me £9. I spent £9 on chocolate. Go me. Woo! And the Dunelm was a success. Dropped off my little parcels. I'm going to go home and I'm going to start with some baking. Just trying to find an outfit for baking. It's funny because I want to look nice because I'm filming a video. But then also on the other hand, I'm baking. I want to be comfortable. Like Nara Smith, the when she wears those huge ball gowns. I wish I would want to do that but a the state of it oh my god it would be pretty dirty so i'm just going to do a couple of hours baking got my little m s buttons you know what i've never had these so i'm intrigued i'm excited and it's funny because i'm sure i'll taste my m s chocolate chip shortbread before m s's actual chocolate chip shortbread my plan is to make my own version replicating it and then tomorrow get to m s nice and early as the doors are opening and get myself some of their shortbread and then I can taste test both. I can do a blind taste test and see which is better. I'm gonna put my AirPods in, listen to a podcast or something while baking and then I'm also gonna bake my dad because I've already made him some granola because he's going away for a week to do something with work and he wants to take some bakes. And I'm also gonna make him an apple crumble bake. It's, it's like apple crumble, but it's like a, it's a slice. It's an apple crumble slice. He asked for it, so let's do it. Cue the montage. Just gonna get dressed quickly. Let me just show you the granola. There it is bread is currently in the freezer what you have to do is you've got to cut it before you bake it so I cut it and then as soon as it's out of the freezer after about an hour sprinkle it with sugar and then it's gonna go in the oven and I'm still yet to make my apple crumble slice but we're taking the puppies out for a walk now I'm just going to recut it again and sprinkle it with more sugar and then leave it to completely cool before it'll be ready to taste test Morning. I need to cross the road one second. I'm back, the holy grail, about to go to M&S. This time, hoping to film some of the M&S Christmas stuff. I saw the M&S's Christmas advert was out today. Has Dawn French in. I feel like Dawn French is always in the M&S Christmas advert. Basically, the advert was to say that all their Christmas food is out, so hence that I'm very confident that today I'll be able to go in there, show you all the Christmas bits, and maybe pick some stuff up. I'm also gonna see if they've got the button shortbreads again because I made my own version yesterday honestly they're so good so if M&S is one so it's good as this I mean I don't want to toot my own horn and say that I'm a better baker than M&S but they, they were tasty okay straight up they've got four different advent calendars I've had the Percy Pig one before and I actually hate Percy Pig chocolate because it tastes like strawberries and that just should not mix with chocolate so we've got the Percy Pig one a Colin the Caterpillar one this is new I've not seen this you get a little chocolate puppy and kitten behind each door and then obviously this one i got myself that one that's my advent calendar for this year lots of lovely christmas stuff as soon as you enter oh okay we've also got a cocktail chocolate advent calendar and a free from classic mince pies puff pastry ones i've also seen that they do a brownie mince pie so i might have to try and recreate that one day what am i doing hanging around here i should be at the bakery checking if they've got my chocolate chip shortbread don't have it again they don't have it they've got granola triple chocolate white chocolate milk chocolate no button shortbread but i just heard the timer go off so i'm thinking maybe they're cooking it so i'm gonna hang around look granola triple chocolate white chocolate damn it anyway Let's have a look at the Christmas stuff. We'll come back in half an hour. I'll ask behind the bakery till. I'm sorry, but I'm just obsessed with their chocolate range, like their posh chocolates. I bought, what did I buy? Oh, they had dessert chocolates. Let me see if I can find them. One second. These, I bought these a few weeks ago and did a little taste test review of those. They were nice. To be honest, I wouldn't buy them again, but they were just interesting. Like they've got an apple crumble chocolate, a carrot cake chocolate. It was just very, 
I don't know, just like a lovely surprise. Look at these. I just love how detailed they are. How adorable. £15 though. It's very expensive, I won't lie. Okay, so help me choose which to buy because I'm going to either treat myself to one of these three, one of these four. Tell me which one you want me to do a little taste test of because they are very expensive, so I can't buy them all, unfortunately. Number one, salted caramel pine cones. Luxury chocolate pine cones filled with salty caramel. They honestly look so good and I love how they literally look like pine cones. Number two, winter sky chocolate box i mean these are dark chocolate milk chocolate and white chocolate and i'm just so intrigued because they look like bath bombs or do i get these gold blonde salted caramels i imagine these are like truffles eight pounds so not as expensive or cocoa dusted liquid salted caramels decisions decisions these are what i'm still yet to try but i did buy them yesterday when i came literally though this whole aisle is all christmas it's amazing no one's at the bakery so i can't ask so i think i might just come again tomorrow and hope that i can get them we've got lots of christmas freezer bits that you can just you know throw, throw on some little starters for boxing day maybe they've also got lots of like festive meal deals. It's funny because I don't actually need anything other than the cad, not Cadbury, other than the chocolate chip shortbread. So I'm literally just gonna come in here to film. The last thing I'm gonna show you is these little cupcakes. They look very cute. Oh, did I put them? I might, that might have been me who put them in the wrong place. Sorry, m and And this selection box, which I don't know how to feel about it. I would have bought this if it wasn't for the clusters having cranberry in them. I do get it because it adds Christmas to the box, but it's filled with the mini rolls, the caramel crispies, which are my literal favourite, and cranberry crevasters. I'm not sure. Maybe I will buy it one day. And here are the brownie mince pies. Looking good. Good morning. It's the next day. It's a Wednesday today. It's feeling very autumnal this morning, very wintry, like very dark. It's literally nine o'clock and, it, and it's cosy. Got my little lamp on very cozy i'm excited because i'm going to london today and by london i just mean stratford and that is in london so yeah technically i am going to london but for me it doesn't really feel like london i count stratford as just stratford because it's it's only a 25 minute train away from me so it's not like i'm actually venturing in i don't have to get a tube or anything but i'm going to house of cb and what else oh m s because they've got a fantastic Oh my god, this, this video has literally just come to m and and me every single day. But yes, I'm trying to find those bloody chocolate chip shortbreads. And I'm going to treat myself to a lovely posh box of chocolates like the ones I was showing you yesterday. I did a poll on my Instagram and I think the golden blonde truffles are going to win. But I really want the pine cones. I'm going to get the golden blondes, but then I will get the pine cones. Not, not this time though, I'll treat myself to them another time. Anyway, outfit of today. My Levi jeans, a white Skims dupe top from Zara. I love these, they're so smooth. And then I've got this new coat that I'm gonna wear. It's kind of like a cardigan. Ta-da! It's quite mumsy, isn't it? <laughs> I know, looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, do I look 40? Do I look 42? I don't care. I think it's cute. I feel like I'm dressed to go to church, and I, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's get on the train. I used to get so nervous to go into London and you know what? I get a little bit nervous, like a little tiny bit, but also, no, I don't actually. I say as I'm like taking bigger breaths and like I can feel myself a little bit out of breath, but that's fine. We do it anyway and it gets easier every single time. This is the reality of what my bedroom floor looks like currently because I'm packing to go to Elliot's. So this will be the last day of the vlog, but this, I feel like this shows the coat better. I just think it's really girly and cute. I like it. Right, 
let's have a debrief then. So I went to London. I was feeling super duper positive and I did not have fun. <laughs> I just don't think I like London that much. I think I like London when it's not busy. As soon as it's busy, I think I'd, to be honest, if I'm quite frankly honest, I am a very slow person and I don't do things day to day quickly. I am slow. I used to work in a tea room. I was probably one of the slowest, but what I like to do, I like to do it thorough. So I get overwhelmed when things are really quick. So hence, if I work in a quick job, I'll do it a little bit quick, but my a little bit quick isn't that quick. Yeah, so London was really busy today. Stratford was absolutely rammoed. I got a little bit overwhelmed. And then I feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. I feel like I'm a failure, but I'm not a failure. I'm cheering my, and to be honest, again, I know I've just cut in for myself. I think I don't do myself any favors because I'm coming accustomed to spending so much time on my own, not socializing because of my job. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm becoming a bit of a hermit. But is that a bad, such a bad thing that I'm becoming a hermit? I personally, I don't think so. I think I will test myself and go into London either next week or the week after, but I will go somewhere that I feel like I'll have a more enjoyable experience. I don't think Stratford is the nicest of places. Don't, don't come for me. But I'm, I might go somewhere like Harrods to look around the Christmas section because I think that'll be fun. To cheer myself up, not because, just because like, you know, I feel like now I deserve some happy time because I was quite stressed. I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's and fingers crossed, they've got some lovely Christmas pajamas. I've seen these ones with candy canes on that I've really got my eye on. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that they've got them in my size. This is a hazelnut ignot from m &S. Do you remember at the start of the video? If you're still watching. <laughs> these, I'm finally trying these. <laughs> and I will try the caramel blondies well not really caramel blondies the caramel truffles when i get in with a shortbread cup of tea did i tell you about that from mns shortbread cup of tea see i just i really do just like my alone time does that make me a bad person i feel like i can be myself when i'm alone i feel like i like especially in my car i love being in my car because i know that no one can hear me i love it i feel like i can do whatever expressions i want and I cannot feel judged. Whereas if I'm on the train, I sit there and I feel like a blank sheet of paper. Anyway, <laughs> Sainsbury's is not about to get what, I don't know what I'm saying, it's not, it's, Sainsbury's does not know what's coming, is what I was trying to say. Would recommend 27.7p, and they are delicious. They are a kinder delight. All luxurious and kinder. Mm. Mm. The fitting rooms are shut and I really wanted to try pyjamas before I buy. This is a size 14, which I'm usually like at 8 to 10. Is it too big? Obviously I've got a top underneath. But I think they're so cute. Little candy canes. And it comes with a little, I don't even know what this is. I think it's a hair thing. And I think I prefer pyjamas a bit bigger. I've got these as well, which are a medium. So I'm gonna try them on. I might try that on. Or do I just buy this? And the thing is, I can return it. You can always return it. If you don't like it, just return it. <laughs> but then I might run the risk of not being able to get these. I'm just gonna get these. Screw it. Right, one more time. One more time I'm gonna try and get these shortbreads. And if not, it's just not meant to be. <laughs> I'm going home now. And then I'm gonna pack and go to Elliot's. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have literally been to m and every single second of this vlog, pretty much. I love you, m and and thank you for watching. Not m and this is you I'm talking to now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.